There we go. Ahoy everyone, welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with... Please, you might you tend to kill at your stomach. And welcome back to Partisans 1941, where last time, uh, yeah, we welcomed a new permanent member to the team. And, well, let's uh, continue. Uh, hmm? What? You look... Can you move a little bit? Yeah, it was stuttery before I noticed as well, yeah. Alright, so it is normal again. Mm. Uh, that's what caught my guy, I got a little bit uh, concerned. <laughs> Okay. Hello there, Marco. Let's see. And along with Lazy Scallywag Marco. <laughs> Hello, Marco! And yeah, I get the feeling we're going to get another permanent member because we've again been sent into a mission with three members since the four that we can have. And yeah, we're looking for Sanek's uh, father, who was lost, supposed to be around here. And well,. The Germans are here, so there's likely something going on. Alright. Last time we cleared out most of this side of the lake. Now we need to get over here. But there's a patrol going around with a dog, so we'll have to be careful. Uh, wait, where does this take place? Uh, the Eastern Front of World War II. Not with the Russian army or anything like that, no. This is just... <clears throat> this is partisan. These are partisans, aka just random soldiers from all over Eastern Europe and such. Yeah, uh, we've got a, a Kazakhstan, a, a Kazakh, at least one Ukrainian, I believe it was. Let me double check. Uh, if I, know, we had, I know we have Rus several Russians, but yeah. and one Kazakh, but yeah, Russian, Russian. Ukrainian? Yeah, three. All of these are Russian. Let's see, it's Yugoslavia. Okay. On a mission. Wait, you, you looked it up? Nah, uh, Marco said that. Uh, 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 yeah, uh, that's what I mean. Uh, I'll ask the if Marco did. Okay. Uh. okay. I'm taking a risk here by going over here. Okay, there's a little build. Well, was a building here. Let's see, I remember it from history class. Okay. Hmm. I think for the moment we'll probably be better off trying to sneak around these. Yeah. Hmm. I guess we can see later when we uh, we can see if there's any hint of where we are. For Eastern Front is rather vague. Yeah, it was. It, it did span like over like half a continent. Okay. Is that no there. That's not a gap big enough to move through. Okay, are we actually hidden here? I hope they won't notice us. Hmm. Oh, my fault. Okay, if it yeah, comes to, to it. We do have quite a lot of advantages here in this environment. This is probably going to alert really the others. Careful. Yep. Yeah, but so much for careful, huh? Okay. Okay, that, that took them out real fast. I think we need to get rid of that uh, squad before moving up. Yeah. It would be oh. normally we would just be able to hide in the uh, in the bushes and such, but the dog is a hard counter to that. Yeah. Let's do it. So we need to take that out. Uh, but, mm, and we I can't think scroll from further. To... I think they, this might want us to do stealth and ambushes. Like we've been able to sneak and stab a lot early on this level, but now we feel we end up doing gonna have to do more. <laughs> actual ambush yeah like this would be a good place for that hmm if it weren't for the dog because dog would sniff us out out of cover get down hmm Calm down. can we maybe lure the dog over or something or are they just going to follow after it then we gonna need someone to shoot the dog and someone else to sh shoot the rest yeah Seek. 
it's horrible to say to shoot the dog, but in this case we have to. I'm sorry, folks. <laughs> Okay, everyone take position here. Hello, Pizza. How are you doing as well? Let's see, Marco. I know it's. I know it is because Yugoslavia became a communist country during World War II, and when Tito was president in 1956, he had a fight with Stalin. Then Yugoslavia was starting to accept resources from the USA. Okay. All right, and hello, Pizza. Also, I, I can't tell if you're doing the if you're doing the meme there, Pizza of oh hi oh hi Mark from that terrible ass movie. I, I'm pretty sure they are doing it, but that's probably the only thing that people like about the movie that you can meme about it. Can we... Get out. Okay, so they'll you they'll also use grenades when they pass one. We actually didn't get a single scratch there. Okay. That could have gone a lot worse, could have uh, probably gone a bit better, but oh well. We survived, they didn't, that's what matters. Uh-huh. Uh, let's see. Uh, all right, it's really, really sick. He was of it. Uh, give me like five examples of when I have done it. <laughs> I can think of probably one time, but none too many, anyways. Okay, let's have ourselves a look. I hope we're not getting. So not, can you sneak through these for a bit? To maybe give me a bit of an extra view. No, damn. Okay, come on. I'm pretty sure he wasn't in their line of sight there. Okay, kid, run back. Okay. Yeah, that could have gone better, but <laughs> only one. Okay, some injuries, but nothing major. I'm very glad that we have her on our side with that skill. Yeah. That we shouldn't make too much use of it since it's limited use and such. Yeah. So we really need it. Hmm. We, we want to use it when we know it's needed or as a very good backup. And this was one of the cases where we ended up needing to use it to survive. Uh, not really. She only got two targets with that. But still, uh, that's oh, yeah. two targets easily taken out. Yeah, and how many can you take out with that skill? Three? Four? I'm not Standing sure. Out. As long as they can fit in the targets, uh -huh. they probably can, can get taken out. Okay, we've got another document here. We should check through those sometime. We hmm. should. Probably give us uh, some hints of where the heck we are. Oh, hello. Now that's a find. Let me see. High quality PPS. Soviet shop machine is some machine gun. I almost said shop machine gun for some reason. Also, let's take that. <laughs> now, it looks like the only place we haven't really explored yet is over here. Um, but for that, we... Do we need to get past... I think, yeah, we need to get past this bunch here. Because the tree line is too thick to allow us through. And yeah, there's the, there's the downed bomber. Or airplane. Not every airplane is a bomber, after all. Uh, let's see it. Okay, pizza's going to be lurking. Okay. Alright, lurk safely. Now. Let's go. Let's reload. Yes. And then we're going to look how much we can sneak up on here. Hmm? 
Hmm. It's a good thing these idiots are so chatty. They give themselves away plenty of times. We're on a mission. Hmm. Let's see. Pizza with Mark in chat, I can't turn my sight down. Uh, sight down? What? I think it's a pun. The enemy's close. Hmm. Okay, we have these here. Okay. The other one is a, as good as blinds. Because they're stabbing at a rock most of the time. I think we can. You know, <laughs> I think we can take this down. For, this one down first. Just need to be careful of that patrolling sniper. Though, actually, we might just be able to sneak around behind them here. And yeah, there's an there's an opening we can probably get through. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. The sniper has vanished off into there somewhere. Does anyone... I think the only one who gets any sight of this guy is the patrolling sniper. So, yeah, if we can take him out, well, that'll be the first puzzle piece done. And... No, he doesn't... He doesn't even see him. Okay, uh... What was the quick save and load again? Because with uh, <laughs> with the Star Wars games, it's been F9 for quick saving, but I think here it's quick load. So it would be stupid of me to just accidentally reload <laughs> back to the previous save. Yep, F5 and F9. Okay. Don't let me down. One down. Okay, just to be sure, let's pick him up. Okay. Let's see, Marco, isn't there a thing about the title? In Yugoslavia, they say Partizani. He just switched the last S with an I, and that's it. Yeah. Thanks for holding for me. Can't do that. Let's see, some ammo, and some scrap. We are starting to run out. Oh, not that way, dumbass. There we go. Okay. What? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. We'll need. He has constant sight on him. So this one is completely out. The sniper doesn't move far enough away to can't get out of sight. Even then, he is always in the sight of one of these. Though, hmm. If we had someone more capable of melee, we could have attempted a triple strike, I guess, because this guy is out of sight of the camp. And that is why I swapped the... Uh, that is why I swapped them to their knives when not in combat. Because that was that yeah, that was just going to happen sooner or later. I'm on it. Yeah. Stopping us. Okay. But yeah, my point still stands. This one is in a blind spot compared to the, uh, these two, except for this one. So Hmm. What we could do, perhaps, is cause a distraction here. We have plenty of rocks for that. Get them all to look that way, then grab these two and hide. This will come in, SD. Calm down. Hmm. And then again, do these have any line of sight on these two? Because when these three. <laughs> Rude. Okay, he can see them. Hmm. We do have a decent window of opportunity. We could try and kill these two, maybe throw a rock for distraction to get these to look this yeah, him to look the other way. Let's see. 
actually would be better if we give the kids the rocks, since he is the least capable of... Uh, he is the least capable with a knife. Uh, also, hand those over to someone else, please. Okay, there. Save us a bit of space. Mm. Or do we try luring someone away? So much for saving space. Okay. Let's see. Uh, F5. Bit risky here. Okay, yeah, I could throw a rock to distract these. And in the meantime, grab these two. Calm down. With these. Huh? Hmm. Let's try that. And if that fails. If, hold Calm on down. a sec. Actually. Hmm. Can I grab him without these two noticing? Let's do a quick check on that. I'm on it. No stopping us. This is kind of scary. Oh, yeah, they heard that. Oh, actually, his body is hidden. Hold on a sec. Can I? Uh, don't forget to distract the others. <laughs> okay, uh, now, now. <laughs> <laughs> they, they were literally standing over his corpse, but didn't notice. Okay. Um, well, I that's really one gear. <laughs> they should have, but uh, they're idiots. Thanks for holding for me. Oh dear. Oh, that's one piece of the puzzle done. I'm here. Let's see. You got some ammo on you. Okay, now we just need to distract this guy, and in the meantime, nab these. So... We need to time this right. Hmm. Actually, it'll probably be better to not to throw a knife this one, and then have Olga... That was her name, right? Yeah, Olga... Grab this one. Okay. Just need to wait for an opening. Like the moment he starts looking away, that is when Olga starts moving. Okay. Okay. And he starts looking away. Rock. No, no. Is the rock going? Yes, it is. Okay, Olga, grab one. You grab one. Okay. Grab them. Okay, both of you into there. And there we go. Perfect execution. Calm down. <laughs> okay, yeah, we, we really need to use those rocks more. And now, well, these two are easy pickings, I think. Does, does this one look far enough back to see this one? No, he does not. So, that is a very easy kill, or two kills for Zoran. But still, F5... Okay, then the quick cooldown. I'm on it. And done. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, that just shows that if, if you just go at it at something from a different angle, it might become a lot more solvable. We have work to do. Oh dear. 
All right, Keep your eyes everyone. Me. I'll get you for that. Uh, let's see, a knife and some bullets. I'll take the knife. We can probably just disassemble it. Uh, how is everyone's inventory uh -huh. looking? This Rather full. Hmm. We'll need to sort through that a bit. Let's see. This. I'm guessing that's just a bunch of rocks. Though it might. There might just be a stash or something hidden here. It. Yeah, just rocks. Okay. So, even if you don't take them with you, there's a good chance the game will give you some rocks to get through some parts. Okay. Now, what have we here? Quiet. I see four, five, six, or one, two, three, six, yeah. No. Okay. Yeah, the, the plane is, of course, going to have the most attention. Hmm. Still no sign of Trophim, though. Do I I think I might just start I think I might just call them Truffle because their name is a bit similar to that. Wait, who? That finds Trophim. Uh, oh. Senex father. <laughs> I was wondering who in our team sounds like Truffle? What the heck is it all about? <laughs> Okay. Still no sign of him. I get the feeling if he is here, he might have been captured and put into this truck. If they even bothered to capture instead of just outright kill. Okay. Most of their attention is towards the plane, of course. The only one looking outward is this one. And he is left alone for quite a time, and he's standing by some bushes that we can hide a body in. Hmm. This one is really far away, so we, he, is, he is going to be easy to take out. Just need to slip past this one. Easy now. And yeah, he almost, he almost just walked straight into the bushes. Okay. So we wait for these two to take their leave, then Zorin goes <laughs> tell this guy hi. Oh, he comes in deeper. Okay. Okay. Perfect timing for that one to turn back. Then again, he's going down. One. Let's be a bit risky. They've seen us. We'll see. Uh, uh, a bit too risky. I forgot he turned around. The enemy is near. Okay, but we have two throwing knives. So what we can do is, well, actually, could, could we, could we grab this one on the way out? Does he go into the bushes here? This is just me being seeing if I can get away with this. I'm on it. One down. And I find cover. Kill the bomb. Come on. Uh, forgot to swap them back again, but I can get away with dropping him I'm in the bushes it. there. How many more of you are there? Okay. In Hey, okay, okay, okay. Wait. Why did you switch to your rifle when you have your knife equipped? Did, or did I accidentally... Uh, maybe I accidentally hit V to swap weapons whilst picking, yeah, whilst picking the knife. Either way, I could probably get the way with this. Just give it one more try. See if they can find them in the bushes. Because that one does hear it. I'm on it. No stopping us. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. As the music goes to, well, more tense, <laughs> but there's not a single one who is suspicious alive. 
Oh, that one got a glimpse of us there, or a glimpse of Zorin. No, back. Okay, I forgot. Uh, not what I wanted with that. No, no, no. Not sure why the button got stuck there for a second. Yeah, I forgot to check this one's line of sight. Okay, do, do you have... You do not have sight on him. Okay. So these two are going to be easy kills. Just need to get out of this bush without getting spotted. You have line of sight there. Okay. Chew on that swipe. Okay, and since he doesn't turn around, I'm on it. his fate is sealed. Okay. Yes. Here some we food, go. some foods. Okay, now just for security, I'm going to hide the body. And might as well go check what's here. There must be another stash. Oh, hello! Okay, we are, we are getting really lucky with finding good weapons. The problem is that we can't carry all of them around. Yeah, we need to bring someone else to there to pick it up. But actually, how many? How much space do we have on anyone? Let's see, three here. She's full, but I'm I'm guessing I think we can get a few more spots just from well swapping stuff around, putting the bigger things in the action slots, and just stacking some of these between different inventories. But we might need to we might we might need to leave some stuff behind for the weapons. Yeah, like we are doing the, finding extra food is always good. But I do feel like we have at least currently really well handled with the, on this food supply. Yeah. Uh -huh. Alright. Now, again, for security. Okay. Now, how are we going to deal with this? We have four targets left. Zanuck, you go sneak around. See if there's any more. Doesn't look like it. These two we can just take out at the same time by sneaking up behind them. But these two generally have line of sight on each other. So we could yeah, try, we could basically do the same thing, but just for a longer distance. Are you going to be, no, you're not going to be smart enough to move around. Okay. Olga, you go hide here. Zoran, see if you can sneak into here. Okay. There we go. The bushes block the line of sight of the other guy. And there we go. Quick save. Olga. You can actually stand right behind this guy and the other one won't even hear you. Need to find a good moment to strike. My recall experience comes in handy. I'm on it. No stopping us. There we go. <laughs> oh yeah. Calm down. Wait, did we get the revolver? No, I didn't pick them up yet. We'll do a bit of inventory work in a second. We can probably leave some ammo behind. Since we have plenty of that. Okay. Olga? Yeah. We've been saving the ammo rod really well. Yeah. Ammo and medical supplies. Okay. This is usually a sign you're doing it well. It's going down. <laughs> oh, yeah, you don't use the ammo when needed. 
Like, th th that has to be a pretty pants shitting moment for the, the guy who got grabbed because he just see, he just he just feels someone grab him from behind and start to fight with him. And whilst he is doing that, he can see the person before him get a knife in the back of the in the back of the neck or something. Oh God! What is this? Hmm. Okay. Now everyone gather up. Still no sign of the one we're after. So where the heck are they? Hmm. Okay. For the moment, uh, let's just. Okay, we can't put stuff into containers. Hmm. Okay, we'll need to. Let's see. <laughs> It'll probably be better if I just. No, these are pretty good with their knives, so leaving the knives behind would be a bad idea. Uh, let me see. <laughs> That's a lot of space already saved there right away. I mean, you solved our uh, issue there. And mostly, but not completely. Uh, let's see. You are good I with really knives and to use bottles. The... Are those Molotov? No, those are just bottles for luring over. Probably should have tried that with a few here as well. Yeah. Okay, I can't equip that. Makes sense since it's grayed out, so it's not an active use weapon or item. Uh, let's see. Hand that to you. Okay. Actually, we can leave that behind, or we could just tear Wait. it down into parts. Are you sure it ain't a good gun or so? Yeah, it's a blue one. It's a decent one, but we have better. Okay, now where the heck is that guy? You have a task for me. Let's take that, move that, and that, and just take the rest. Yeah, the, really the kid is going to play mule for a bit. Wait, what? The, the kid is going to play mule for a bit by carrying most of the stuff, or a lot of stuff. You need, you need to apologize to him later. Let's see. No, not that. Drop his dumb ass back down. You can take the cigarettes. Hmm. Let me see. Any more space that we can make by moving stuff around? Plants, plants, eggs, casings. My patience is running thin. Casings, uh, tin food, leaves. Who knows carrying cigarettes on them at the moment? Or oh, wait, do you have space? Um, one, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay, a knife is just a knife, so we can leave yeah, that behind. Does, does the knife have durability? No, that, I I doubt that. Mm -hmm. Okay, actually, okay, we can't load a pistol in the inventory like this. Uh, not that that would make any room here, anyways, because it wouldn't use up a stack. Though, actually, um. <laughs> No, 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 wait, isn't that... Oh, right, those go into stacks of 30. Um... There, there... And there we go. Now that still hasn't solved our objective of finding uh, 
drop him. So where the heck is he hiding? Yeah. Did we actually did we accidentally completely miss him and complete the rest of the mission before we before we even knew what was going on or something? Good question. Also, I'm kind of surprised there, it was a, a more bigger mess of where the plane landed. Yeah. Um. Like you would expect there to be a. Big drag mark of where it landed, or a bit of a crater or something, but. It can almost look like it was just dis disassembled over there. Okay, where is he? Where. I don't think the game is glitched or something, but. Yeah, let's keep right. looking around for now. Unless if we, we have find info him. from the notes. Maybe? Let me see. I don't think those are actually set as here. Uh, let's see. Partisan's Companion. Award Sheets. Okay, nothing in here that screams out me at me like, uh, in case you find this. Okay. Hmm. We'll check over that in, uh, back at the camp. Oh, hello. Okay, that must... There he is, I'm guessing. Okay. I didn't actually think we could move along this, but... I guess we can, so now we know where he likely is. Okay, I see why they set up a little prisoner camp there. Okay, and this guy is just keeping near constant watch this way. Okay. Yeah, this is a move for Olga. We can't get up to those guys without getting... Well we, well, we can't kill any of them without getting noticed. So, F5. Uh, no, not that. Now we go F5. Yeah, okay, there is a time that we can just rush in. You just need to time it right. Yet. Oh. They're on us. Fire. There we go. <laughs> oh. Let's do what we have. Yeah, that, that. You really need to time it there. That's me. We yeah. have a plan. Okay, I thought I said to you, told you to run after them as well. Okay, he got stuck on a rock. Okay, a little uh, pathfinding issue. Okay. There we go. Pops, are you all right? I thought the Germans had killed you. They would never. They need me alive. Cornered me like an animal. They know their stuff. If it weren't for you, old Trophim could have been caught. You. You don't look familiar. Did the kid bring you here? I'm Captain Zorin. My comrade and I managed to escape a camp just recently. First thing Sanek did was take us to your cabin. He expected you yesterday. Sanek started to worry when you didn't show up. I was about to head home, and then I thought, why not take a peek in the boxes near the crushed plane? So... I found a grenade. It was only right to set a trap on the road. When you would get a bear instead of a rabbit. <laughs> Enough talking, though. This place is dangerous. Let's go. We can do the introductions on the way home. Here we go. We saw the mob trucks where the plane landed, so... All right, so you can see it's another look too, like... Like a massive fight, it would slide into mud. <laughs> okay, uh, that is, that's actually all we needed to do here. We just need to find him and then just get the hell out. Okay. 
uh, also, like exit through the, in the village. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about that. That indeed combo looks so good. <laughs> oh, they are meant to keep the cold out. And okay, so at least we'd have to sneak through here because it says exit through the abandoned village. So I'm presuming they mean here. Or where is the exit? Oh, there we go. Just needed to get close enough. Okay, all of them killed, and a oh, decent amount of resource, but we got like, some good weapons out of this. Very nice, and some food! Yep. Oh, a lot of people. No peace for an old man. Sorry for showing up uninvited. We needed a base to hide from the Germans and dress our wounds. And your place was a perfect fit. Of course it's a perfect fit. It was built for partisans. So, what are your intentions? Fight the Germans? That's not our intention. We're already doing it. We blew up a tank, punished the Zaborovka village head for treason, sabotaged a punitive operation in town. So you did, huh? In that case, I don't mind you staying here. But make sure you deal with every one of them. You have my word. So and... he is the universe, and I can find funny, the ones with the comfy hats share the same bench. <laughs> How long have you been on the front line? Since early July. And you're a captain? Already had a chance to prove yourself. I've uh, had the rank since the Finnish war. I was in charge of a recon platoon then. Proved myself during the breach of the Mannerheim line. Company commander was killed, so I assume command in combat. That's how I became a captain. Okay, so combat promotion. Let's see. Uh, oh, hmm. yeah, now we need to definitely be careful with food, I see. Yep, 30. Let's see, logging sites. <laughs> logging sites. And local rumors. German trains carrying soldiers and vehicles are passing through ba Bogachev. We should do something about it. So that might be our next mission then. For now, we are we are set on supplies for a good while. Let's yeah. see. Definitely good on supplies, but we should always have someone to do something with food. Definitely. Now we can do a raid, an ambush, a railroad war. A quick reaction, or we could just do some <clears throat> some other work. Let's see. Hmm. What's actually with the one, two, and three on everyone? Or is that be is that their partisans level or something? Let's have a look. Yeah, three, two. Okay, yeah. Let's see. Uh, no skill points for you. Fat this off. No skill points. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, where's Zoran? Okay, uh, there he is. Uh, uh, I did this completely overlooking for some. Uh, let's see. Petisov. Wait. Okay, yeah, now, yeah. now we can scroll between here. Oh, okay. Dear. Uh, what's up, Marco? Hmm? Uh, yeah, what's up? Marco in chat. Uh, let's see. Shotguns like his kid. Demining allows you to notice nearby enemy mines and traps. Time needed to plant mines, tripwise, and other explosives have greatly decreased. That's. Easy, yes! Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Gesundheit. Uh, thank you, whatever you said. Let's see, increased backspace, cover knowledge, SMG use. No no rifle, as you would expect of a hunter, but okay. Well, uh, shotgun see, has shot. been used for hunting. Okay. Profim shoots with buckshot, dealing damage to everyone in range of the ability cone. Requires a shotgun. Okay, with a good enough shotgun, that should take out... Yeah, that could t probably take out, well, like it shows there, entire squads. I think that's actually <laughs> I think that's actually f from the level we just were in. Or 
Yeah. So yeah, uh, getting that. Uh, oh, thank you, pizza. Uh, <clears throat> okay, yeah, he will definitely be very good for some ambushes where we need to do some more, uh, you know, bigger spread to take out more people. Yeah. So, yeah, just need to be, be mindful of uh, the range. Let's see, three more points. Hmm. Yeah, since he's since he has a spe since he has an active ability for shotguns, we might as well train him in the use of those. What the heck do you use a shotgun to hunt again? Uh, not all shotguns or not all shotgun shells are with uh, the typical spread. Like you also have sh slug shotguns and such, or louder grounds, which are just a, a solid, <laughs> basically firing a single solid brick. Yeah, but as an answer, we're what for? He, this he probably uses shotgun because he has hunted something with shotgun in the past. Hmm. Or probably having more experience in using shotgun weapons yeah. with the rule of hunting thing. I, I guess you can want a shotgun if you want to defend yourself against an angry bear? Yeah. Uh, let's see, Marco. I went to deliver some eggs, and when I came uh, back, Luna ran through my legs, and she broke my cat's yellow, uh, uh, my cat yellow spine because he doesn't get well with cats, and now he can't even move his left back legs, and it's all my fault because I let it. What? Okay, that that's not your fault, Marco. That's that's the fact that the dog just. Uh, uh, you can't blame yourself for the uh, dog attacking the cat. Okay, but. Oh, yeah, don't blame yourself. Oh uh, god. Nah. Uh, let's see. That's all the skill points done. Oh, we can uh, we can build the hunting tower now. Unlocks hunting related facility uh, actions. Yeah, uh, we've got more than enough uh, supplies for that. Uh, actually, before I do that, everyone except for Fetisop is now partisan level 3, which has an effect on sending them out to do things. So let's put Fetisop to work on that. Anything else? Uh, yes, it's still just our, our overstocked inventory. Well, plenty of things to disassemble. And I think I just misclicked and accidentally discarded the the good MP40. The, okay, would have been nice if there was a uh, would have been nice if there was a warning on that. So let's do a quick load back to the <laughs> to the auto save. Oh, yeah. People, no peace. How long have you been on the front line? Okay, definitely needs. Uh, confirm on if you want to discard something or not. There. Oh, by the way, Drakir. Oh, by the way, to answer your question, Drakir. Wait. Question? There, Wait, oh, you, there. you know what you're hunting uh, with a shotgun? And... Okay, a shotgun would be mostly used to hunt. Uh, like big games like bison or elephant to hunt such big games there are also guns like for example the elephant rifle oh, right yeah elephant rifle is a shotgun yeah that makes sense and i think they would have bears in this region yeah uh let's see more levels for people You get that, so you're less likely to be hit. Zorin. Um, I tried to remember if you can use a shotgun on a bull, but. Uh, yeah, here's the thing. Depending on what ammo you're using, you probably don't want to shoot a bull with a shotgun. <laughs> For depending how big the damn bull is, he may not do anything against it besides, well, angering it. Yeah, since those things have thick hides. Oh, yeah, I, I actually petted a dead boar, and it's not only the, the thing that the fur itself is almost like armor. So, so it has a very mm. fake fur, 
thick layer of high end something that's it's not fat it also has a lot of fat but also have something else that just makes it so hmm. sturdy okay something i just noticed now he isn't level three with this either even though he has hmm okay does does it want you to spend points in the lower ranks? Let's actually do one more load to try and confirm that. Does it want you to put uh, points into the uh, into the higher ranks before it'll count it to the next one? Also, be right back. And I'll throw some food into the machine. Get that one. Get that one. Um. Let's see. Three. Okay, yeah, it, it needs to be in the previous rank for it to count towards that. Okay. So, one more time then. Oh, yeah. a lot of people. How long have you yeah, been the Trophim is saying mind? whoa a lot with this. Okay, that, that, is, that is nice to know. Uh, let's see. Definitely grab the demining. Grab that. Grab that. And then... Let's see. Two more points here. One, two, and then one of these. Iron body, your partisan can no longer be injured during combat. We're definitely grabbing that since... Well, with shotguns, Trotman is going to be need to be close. Okay, you... Get that. That gets you into your third tier. Zorin. Uh, melee. Or, uh, yeah, let's get melee. Just in case. <laughs> Having Zorin as a more as a stronger melee fighter might be a bit con uh, counterproductive since. He can instantly kill people by throwing a knife, but on the same, I'd argue, uh, since there's a cooldown, he could technically take out two people that are close enough together. Like, he throws a throwing knife at the further away one, and then he just grabs the other one to get to work on him personally. Uh, okay, back to this again. Construction, hunting tower, get this off. The hunter and the lawyer. And we have these operations. A raid for experience, a mine or mines and grenades. Experience and ammo. We already are at maximum you know, <clears throat> morale, so this isn't needed. But still, a thousand, a thousand experience. Let's see, 350. Yeah, let, let's get let's get a thousand experience. Okay, we won't be able to do any well anything else other than these two. Actually, hold on a sec. Fifty percent, seventy-five percent. Okay, um, I'd rather not risk injuries. So here we go, and pass the day. Ah, uh, great. Let's see. A hunting tower is done. The railroad... We killed the guards and set the prisoners free. Yeah. Sabotaging railroads is going to be very big since... Well, it's, in, it's sabotaging enemy infrastructure. And infrastructure is, well, critical. And I'm back. For now. Welcome back. A member of the underground was executed today in the neighboring village, along with his wife and three children. It's a shame we only learned about this after the fact. And Trofim returns from the forest with the news. The fascists are forcing the prisoners of war to work in their lumber mills. That's slavery. Like we expect anything else from them. And someone has a level. Let's see. Silent move. Rifles. Chloroform 2, decreased cooldown ability. Let's grab that. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's still hilarious to me that that freaking officer just walked into the bushes and just got chloroformed. Yeah. Odds. 
Oh, so we definitely want to teach her to move silent and all that for... Yeah. Even if it helps... This is one of the games where I feel like they're doing stuff decently, even though technically a human should be able to see further away than that, but... Yeah, but for gameplay and such. Yeah. But then again, there's also the rule. How far can you, do you need to see before you can identify the, like... You can see something far away, but doesn't mean you know exactly what it, it, that's a friend or foe. So give me a moment here. For some reason, my computer is making quite a bit of noise. So let me open up the task manager. Is anything drawing more than it should? Let's see. GPU almost at 100%. Okay. And it's actually... It's actually the game for some reason 68 percent in obs another 20. okay why is it drawing that much when there's not much going on uh look at the screen and say, uh, say that again yeah uh, we see plenty of wiggling trees during the missions as well or actually are they uh, no they're static they're mostly i think hmm. yeah the most trees in the uh, cover field is static so sanic isn't related to you what does it matter? I saved him from wolves in the forest. I chased him up a tree and prowled around waiting for him to fall. <laughs> he was out looking for berries. The boy was thin as a matchstick. Now I can't believe people in the village wouldn't even spare a crumb of bread for an orphan. He was too scared to beg for food. Once the bullets I shot at him. Look at him now though. How cheeky he is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, nothing to report. Yeah, I, I was wondering for he he said his pants were dead. He just do he still remember them? So, we, all right, yeah. As okay, but the one he the nickname Truffle is his adopted father. Yeah. Let's see. The former accountant Sidorov is now a polizai. He sells the expropriated food under the counter. Let's pay him a midnight visit and ask him to share some foods. Okay, only 75%. Only, it's still a 3 in 4 chance. Uh, there. Another railroad war for quite a bit of experience. Trophies, trough and pound of cash uh, with some supplies and canned food, seemingly left there by someone from the local population. So we take the food or should you know, make do without it? Hmm, 75 is quite a bit. And, hmm. I'm going to presume that the game doesn't go too deeply with things like that if we take this, then someone else goes hungry instead. Hmm. Let's see. Hunting. 15 units of foods in exchange for 5 supply. I do get the feeling that if we get into. Uh, yep, that once winter starts, food is going to become a, quite a big problem. Yeah, so... and I feel like we definitely want to make sure we have a good food supply before then. Yeah. Let's see, anyone who is low on level compared to everyone else? Nine, eight, eight, nine, eight. Okay, everyone is at a good level. Sanic, Petisov, and Valia. Okay. Valia, Petisov, Sanic. Actually. I could do with just two of those. There, 75, 95. Let's go with that. And then the rest of these can do some uh, work here with the foods. Yeah, we, we, we need the food supply. Let's see, 20. Hunting, this only gives 15. Cook some foods for 22 gain. Took a lot for 60 and... Yeah, we have a lot of raw food you should uh, put to use. 22. The hen house. 
also 22. Technically speaking, this to cook a lot of food is actually slightly less good since it gives only 20 food per person, but it's still only two my, uh, less. So yeah, 25 for mushroom season is nearly over. You might find and a handful in the birch grove. Hmm. You, you gotta pay attention to the chickens. Pick some eggs for everyone. Okay. Yeah, like uh, then we are running out of own food quickly. Trophim, like has your family been evacuated? I have no family. My wife died long ago. Bless her soul. I have no one else. We didn't have children. But I took Sanic under my wing. He's like a son to me. <laughs> my pride and joy. <laughs> yeah, family doesn't have to be blood. Yeah. Is her something fall, I think? Let me check. Alright, now I go check on my food. Okay, it was nothing. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's see. Sidorov was so intimidated that he not only shared the food, he also promised to keep us informed about the enemy's action in the region. Let's wait for the news. Okay, that might that might have longer reaching consequences. Everything comes plants. And rations. Okay. Now, what do we have for today? Propaganda. Uh, 500 experience trophies. While retreating, the Red Army left behind a KB-1 tank in the swamp. Sooner or later, the Germans will find it and make good use of it. We should blow it up. Okay, painkillers, some ammo, and 350. Okay, experience, and grenades, and rather explosives. Hmm. I think for now we actually focus on foods. So there. This is yep, 20 gain. Yeah, not logging. Let's see. Five food for ten for fifteen. No. Okay, I do like that they are different sometimes. Uh fishing. 22 and the hen house there we go okay for some of these they don't actually move away from here mission day through the mill the fascists unload their grain at a local mill. Basili, yeah, Basili thinks that the miller is a good person. We should visit the mill and see if he can store some flour for us okay Hmm. And I'm back. Welcome back. Uh, let's see, Mar Marco. This music is currently my, uh, is like my current state of mind. I can't even imagine how yellow uh, feels. Yeah. Uh, hmm. Hopefully they will recover. Uh, let's see. Who do we bring besides these two? If we're going to to a mill, we're likely going to be in well in a village, so I think Sanic might help here, make, make it a bit of a father-son expedition, but uh, <clears throat> uh, he's not well trained in melee, so I think we bring Olga, we're, we're basically, <laughs> I get the feeling Olga is going to be like an MVP next to Zorin here. Very likely, like, I don't dislike Sanic, I just don't feel comfortable bringing him on uh, missions. Yeah. Let's see, no other operations. So the rest of you go work the food. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's check everyone's gear. Oh, now we are looking good on food now, but then again, food. Anyone who stays behind should do something with food. Definitely. Um, okay. Unloads. 
there, and there, and there. Okay. We have what is likely a better pistol for you. But you can keep the knife for the moment. Uh, bottles you can also keep on hand. Actually, I, I don't remember if those stack... Or to what level those stack. Spare knife can go. Okay. It's okay, they only stack the three. The three is probably all that we need, as long as we can recollect them. Okay. Would be nice if we had wait, is there it move everything to the storage. Yeah, that would have been nice if I'd figured that out earlier. Okay. Unload that. Unload that. Swords. Okay. Okay. Uh, storage. There. Okay. Um, don't think we'll find much better for you. Hmm. Actually, now that I, if once my, my one minor thing, if we can't load weapons in here, then that does mean that if we don't reload before leaving a mission, we'll be left with well. A non, a non full clip unless does he does he load automatically maybe once we put some ammo in his inventory let's see a single round here okay it recognizes it now as okay now we we can't load for some reason okay let's give you one full clip at least uh, let, let, we're trying to avoid combat as much as possible, but let's still find you know, keep a basis of at least two full spare clips. Okay. Um. Yeah. And that's about it for everyone. Let's pull that out as well. Okay, and we can equip everyone once. Uh, <clears throat> when we can, yeah, we can equip everyone in the uh, mission uh, briefing. Okay. Here we go. All right. Reach the mill. Direct combat approach recommended. Careful mind. So good thing that we're bringing him along, huh? Okay, and uh, yeah. we forgot to read the documents, but oh well. Equipment. You are best with shotguns. So you get this one. Let's have a look at that. Yeah, high quality 40 to 100 damage. Okay. A double barrel shotgun. We give you your ammo. Okay. Now, Olga, you get the better pistol. Let's double check. Yeah, 24 to 40. Very high fire rates. Um, it requires that type of bullet. There. And there. It would be nice if the sorting would put these together, the, ammo, the same ammo type together, but it will. Um... Okay, stunning for a long time. This would be good for keep, keeping someone who goes away, away for a longer time. But at that point, we might as well kill them, probably. You already have your rifle and basic equipment. Let me see. It'll make sense for the hunter to have bear traps. And... I wonder, are these single-use or reusable? Let's try making use of at least one of them. Then... Yeah, two medical kits will probably do for now. 
And beyond that... Let's see, knife. You have a spare spot for a weapon. Some bottles. Uh, what's this here? A tobacco. Okay. Can block... Can block a dog's ability to smell for a short time. Okay, we're bringing that along. You got something else there, or is Yeah. Yep. There. The Ministry of Health warm smoking kills. <laughs> okay, some med kits, stones. I'm sure there was a thing Extra back bond. then. I think that's more of a modern nowadays. Back then, yeah. I think. Maybe some were catching on to it, but the many mini cultures were encouraging uh, people to smoke. What the heck? There was even a, fr a few French Flintstone ads for some cigarettes. Yep. Uh, let's see, what's with this again? Yeah, trip wires. Hmm. Uh, let's also bring some painkillers along. And I think that's about all we'll probably need. I don't know. And probably. There are some specific health benefits to tobacco, but not in the way of smoking. <clears throat> if I remember right. I can see smoke yep. ahead. We need to get to the mill up the road. We'll just take a peek in the box. Sappers are shoveling a nearby field. They must have dragged it in. Okay, so good thing that we didn't need, didn't bring along the kids. Because sneaking is very much out of the option, it looks like. Yeah. Right, I was saying, if I remember right, you can uh -huh. use Lord Tobacco Leaves to wrap around a wound. Okay. I think it can be worked as a disinfectant yes. uh, then. But again, this, this is a fresh leaf, not smoked or dried or anything like that. Just yeah. So a very big difference between uh, using as a makeshift nope. uh, bandage compared to yeah inhaling into the lungs. Hmm. They there are a lot of them here. Okay. But yeah, I do recommend people to double check that just in case. For it has been a while, and some of it was from uh, a game. Uh, Green Hell and some other actual videos about herbs, but it has been a while, so do double check it. Hmm. Calm down. Okay, I definitely need to pay more attention to what the to what the recommendation is for a mission. Hmm. It would be nice if we knew beforehand if a mission was more leaning towards uh, stealth or combat. Then again, we I'm could just save and do that. I'm going to suspect we're going to say that you need to use some stealth where we can. But also do combat in more of an ambush. I'm on it. Yeah. Any more of you are Luckily, it looks like there's mo it's mostly just... Uh, lower level enemies here so if we do get into a gunfight it won't be too bad artisan blue in the okay charming type My faith does anyone have line of sight on him when he's standing there this guy does okay so we need to wait for him to be gone actually how far realized. around can we sneak Okay, we can grab him whilst in the house, probably. If we bring any grenades... Yep. We did! Well Okay, we, we do have a window where this one is vulnerable while well, well, he is just still walking. Okay, they are desynced. So we can grab him once... Uh, yeah, we just have the opportunity to. Hmm. <clears throat> Still going to put on a quick save. Don't let me down. One down. Okay, quickly. 
Yeah, I went from moo 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 to moo moo moo. Thanks for holding for me. Well, if we distract yeah. the, uh, the enemy, then uh, it should work. Hopefully. Calm down. Okay. Oop. Was it? No, it was bad. Okay, these two boats should be easy targets here, since there's not really windows to look into here. These are a lot of boxes. Let me see. There is one window. That's actually windows. Yeah, but they're there, and okay, they're mostly covered. But I th let's see. Okay, they they are too close to actually see through. It looks like. Yeah, and it seems to be also too dark. Like there's no, no lit inside there. <laughs> no light, you mean? Yeah. No. These seem to be people without electricity. Does he actually look around to see him? Because if not, we can just stab this one. Okay, he does turn to where he should get a look at them. Okay. Okay, he can see a little bit through there. Enough to get the wonder. This is a winter. Probably enough that if I stab this one that he, he might notice. He is very... he is a bit agitated, it looks like. Yeah, no, if he was laying down, he shouldn't be able to see him. But, yeah, you do never know if they programmed the game that well. For consider yeah, we, height. Yeah, we don't have that in this game. We did have that in Commandos, but not here. Can I just... I'm on it. One. Kill the bastards. Okay. <laughs> that was me trying to be the a bit too cheeky. They've seen us. Calm down. Oh god, thank you for that mental image. It's gonna raise the alarm. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Are they just lined up now? That's it's going to be difficult for me to grab them both. For clarification, now I don't have food in my mouth. I imagine you're seeing uh, stabbing him you right at the left bum cheek. Okay. So they should throw the build. I guess that could work on depending on what ammo you use and how old the damn logs are. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, what happened there was I didn't kill this one quick enough. Let's see if we can pull that off by hiding in this corner. Uh, oh, now I see how he did it. He used a bit of the machine gun. Yep. The heavy machine gun. Okay. Now we just hide this one in the back room. Okay, is it? I think it's this guy. Who was that that was seeing us each time? We're getting a glimpse each time. Don't let me down. They found me. Yeah, this guy. Okay. Let's actually hide you in the corner here, so we don't have to risk going this past two nasty. windows with you. Calm down. Okay. Actually, it might have been him who was seeing us each time, and not the other one. Yeah. Might been. It's mine. Two cogs removed from the machine. Plenty more to go. Oh. Also, I should bring. Oh, hello. Now this is just too good an opportunity <laughs> to skip. <laughs> Stiff. 
Really? That's your first... Oh, what? Did they... Wait, did they, did they trigger on a different corpse there in the pile? Because they were about to stop searching. Hmm. Okay, no perfect stealth, but we're not going for ghost mode or anything like that. Yeah, and this is not as... <clears throat> one of those missions that you were supposed to go full out stealth. Get down. Just thinning out the herd before going in for the kill. Yeah. What hmm. the heck? That sounded like a green dog of me. <laughs> It can't keep moving. Okay. Uh, now, your demining... Does that only work, like, in an area around you? Because I wouldn't be surprised at all. I'm very sure that they've probably mined the fields. Now, the, for a moment I thought I saw something move here, but no, that's the shadow of the windmill. Let's talk more. That sounds like a title. <laughs> Shadow of the windmill. So reach the mill, <laughs> eliminate the enemies near the mill. Hey, hold on. Hell, were you just... Did you almost sync up with me? Maybe. <laughs> Let's take her to the shed. Are we going to get someone new again? Hmm. Okay. They are far enough away from this batch to be alerted separately, I'm pretty sure. Ah, uh, her. No, 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 no. Don't move, you idiots. Okay, I can already see a few weaknesses in their lines. This guy is so alone, with no supervision. Most of their attention is towards the mill, except for this guy, who is also alone. The enemy is near. Uh, yeah, uh, Olga can gun all three of these down at once. We're on a mission. Uh, <laughs> st someone's starting to chafe underneath uh, their new masters. Who are they? He and the one up near him, uh, close to the well, has also said it. Hmm. On a mission. Nope. Oh, oh god. Calm down. Okay. Get down. Zorin. These two are moving. This one is basically neutralized without even being well <laughs> us needing to do anything because he's just staring at the cockpit of the tractor. So yeah, if we can just catch these two when they're outside of each other's line of sight. Like here. Phew, that was nothing. He says as he sees a man run up to him, throw a knife, and throw a knife. <laughs> My faithful slave. Uh, we never did say anything about these guys being the smartest. True. <laughs> hmm. Quiet. Okay. Uh -huh. Pick his pockets, grab My that. Okay, Marco can't even imagine how yellow feels. Yeah, best I can advise with that is to one train the dog better or try something with them. Uh, two better uh, you try to keep a better track of where they are so they can't get out. Like put up something so that they can run out the door or something, like a kid gate or something, or baby gate, toddler, whatever it's called. Yeah. And third, just take as best care of the cat as you can. Get down. Because they definitely deserve a lot of attention now. Yeah. I'm on it. Take good care of them, I hope. This will come in okay. Ooh, <laughs> lucky there. Just outside of this one's line of sight. Okay. Also, I was probably taking a bit more risk than I should have by heading into this field that may or may not be mined. 
But oh well. But, oh, right. We I would were say if you were of them. Are you saying who would use it? If it was with the other guy, or with the beard, he would probably have spotted them. Actually, I have a bit of an idea. No, not that. Let's have a check at how good this is. Okay, quick save. <laughs> Just get up. Okay, so they do look around a bit more than I thought. Run straight to the checkpoint. The Germans are coming this way. How many of them? Where? Only a few. On the road by the minefield. And a whole group on the other road. They'll be here in a few minutes. Uh is this has this just become a defense mission? Uh Yeah, this has become okay. Let's do what we have to do. Uh, first, let's also take a check here. No, not ceiling. Um, hmm. Olga got teleported over. Staying alert. Uh, hmm. Good. What about the checkpoints here? But they're all still here as well. Okay. Uh, I'm guessing the game presumed we have fought our way through that. Huh. Oh. Possibly. Um, and we, we all use Referro. We're on a mission. Hmm. Let's see if we can... Well, we can, we can grab these two easily. Okay, there are at least... Okay, the mines are very obvious, at least. Okay. Zorin. I'm on it. Got one. Just run in and grab the other one. Calm down. Okay, grab. Thanks for holding it for me. The old fox knows okay. the traps. It's an enemy trap. Okay. Okay, so yeah, he'll he'll put big markers on those if he gets near them. It's a risk that has to be. Uh, hmm. We we can oh, we could have moved around those mines. Feels like I'm back with my Ronaldo. No, not, don't grab him. Let's see what actually happens here. Hmm. Someone has something there still. Okay, there. Hmm. My recon experience comes in handy. Grab that. Actually, all of you. Okay. Like Arctic. Okay. I only saw three of them run in there, so. Okay. Tread lightly. <laughs> Dude, that's a bunch more there. Okay. Oh. Hmm. That is going to make... mines on that road. Yeah. But I definitely would have done that if I knew that, well, this would be happening. Careful now. Okay, seriously, what is alerting them? They aren't... They aren't finding bodies. Hmm. Okay, that, that is going to make this a lot harder. If they're, especially if they're going to stick together. 
Okay, that's a bunch more of them. Tread lightly. Okay. I'm thinking at least one mine here. Are, are they going to kill now a full minute? I hate tiptoeing around. Are they just going to constantly get <laughs> themselves worked up? Calm down. Hmm. The enemy's close. Okay, I would have preferred a bit more warning on this, but I will. He's going down. One down. We'll teach them a lesson. Okay. Okay, now that we know that that is going to happen, we are going to move away from this. We're going to take out... We're going to take out the checkpoint here. And then we're going to put up some mines. Okay. We're on a mission. Hmm. Should be an easy view over that way still, so let's go take those out first. Yes. Oh hello. Are you an easy target? I can smell those we have been back here. Don't let me down. I feel like I'd be almost could promise for being not as thorough as we usually are. It's mine. Okay. Pick you up. And I wouldn't really call it a punishment, but more, uh, you, more like you know this is going to happen now, so don't don't get caught this time. I'm on it. One down. There we go. Grab all of that. The mi extra mine in there makes sense. Yeah. No, you need to bring in the other uh, one. Uh, Trophy, what's his name? Trophy? Uh -huh. uh, Trophim. Or Trophim. Yeah, we, uh, we want him to move the mines. Yeah. Okay. Hide the bodies. Okay, yeah, it kind of makes sense uh, why he's good at like, enemy traps all over the place. What? He's a hunter, so he knew how to detect oh, traps. We have thought to make traps himself. Let's do what we have to do. Yeah. But also know how to use a shotgun. Ha probably had to defend himself against a few practice make bears. Yeah. Okay. Enemy traps all over the place. Practice Another one. Okay. So I guess also shotguns kind of work like most hunting rifles. Now then. It's an enemy trap. And by that I mean uh, you, you reload them similarly. Okay. Like it's not another like one here. It's an enemy trap. Like he'll know he'll notice any trap, even if it's our own, apparently. Okay, that would make sense. Or if he did not notice our place. own traps, that would be concerning, wouldn't it? Yeah. Let's see. Medical box. I'm right here. Not stealing. Staying alert. Okay. Uh huh. Hide these bodies away. You come this way. Let's see it. Yeah, the trap's a trap. So he'll find those all the same. Okay. Now, let's put down some around here. Time to act. Dump that one. Yeah, let me <clears throat> have to deal with those in the middle. Yeah. Uh -huh. This is going to be more difficult. An enemy trap. Okay, then one more here. It's an enemy trap. Okay. Yeah, it may be Not cool, that way. maybe tricky, but we both know it would be worse if we don't do it at all. Yeah. Ooh. Pardon? 
we have your pardon. Okay, luckily that guy is has terrible eyesight. Hmm. Tread lightly. Okay. What? Almost forgot that there were more of them. Okay. Run over there quickly, will you? Let's see. We'll likely need to cause a distraction. Okay, now we've got sight on all of them. These two just do not move. Oh, hello. Just run up and grab him. Okay. One piece disassembled. Okay. Then we can probably lure this one away with a drink. I feel like I'm on a recall mission. Let's see. Uh, do you have... Who has well. the bottles? Yep, Olga has the bottles. Okay. Then we do the simple. Once he turns away again, Olga puts down a bottle. And Zorin just uh, does, does the stabby stab. Eliminate enemies near the middle. Yeah, I'm going to speak to the mean all these enemies, not just the ones, but the actual middle. Mm -hmm. I'm on it. That one's done. There we go. Yes. Let's get this. It's mine. Uh huh. Actually, you two quickly. I'm here. There. So we can lure one away if need be. Okay, hide the body. Uh -huh. Now then. Get down. Actually, we can do the very same trick here now. So, there. And now we just wait. <laughs> okay, and that is how you slowly but surely dismantle a checkpoint. Give me that. And there. Hmm. Actually, since there's a mounted gun here, we might as well make some use of that, huh? I would not be surprised if that's one of the ideas. Okay, nobody here is really too trained with them, but the mines probably should thin their numbers out enough for us to be able to, well, deal with them. I'm on it. No stopping us. Follow me. Oh, come on. He got alerted just a tiny bit too early there. Wait, is it all of these Actually, two here? Back. Yeah, just don't let me down. Oh, he, down. you when you reloaded here, he just killed him. There we go. Got one. Thanks okay. for holding. Yeah, I must have missed that, Calm but down. yeah. Okay, grab these two. Calm, this will come in yeah. We have great responsibility. I'm gonna pick that one up quickly. Right here. Yeah, let's hide mm -hmm. the bodies. I think you have more important things to worry about, Olga. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> if we just top free. Let's see. <laughs> Toffee. <laughs> We're just going to get different nicknames for him every time, huh? Because now we've already called him Truffle, now <laughs> Toffee as well. Let's take a look at uh, their, their name. 
trip wires. Yeah, drop in something something Gregory. Uh, peasant, Russian, rank of private. Age 65, local, veteran of the Great War. Experienced hunter, a loner, office and harsh in character. Not fond of the Soviet government. Following the fascist arrival, fled to a partisan hideout in the in the woods and began hunting down the Germans on his own. All right. Now then, anything else for us to loot? Yep, a body here. Let me see. Just a single round. Oh god, drop him first, please. Thank you. Uh -huh. Okay, I believe all of these are going to be owned by the locals. We have great so probably not for us. Yep, as I thought with that uh -huh. one. And that one. Okay. Are they going to claim... To no, they're not going to claim ownership of the bottles. Yes. They do of that. And that. Really? With how easy... How, it, it's eyes. probably also because of the difficulty, but with how easy it is for us to get uh, foods from uh, hunting... And, well, not for hunting, more gathering and such. Uh, I don't think it would be even needed to really... <clears throat> take food from uh, the locals. Yeah, for how the difficulty probably will force you to do it. Or at least make it more more appealing. Be because I'm presuming the the I'm presuming the the food cost per day would be higher then, because at the moment it is five per character. Alright. Uh, let's see. We found some trip wires, another mine. Let's put these up. Let's hope the um, other guy took accidentally trigger them. It's an enemy trap. That's your own trap. And I, it's a salvage to the enemy trap, so I guess he is correct. Oh, wait. You can also mean, like, you know, a bear trap? Hmm. There's an enemy trap, a trap to catch enemy? <laughs> I don't think it's in <laughs> yeah, that way. Traps all over the place. <laughs> it's, a, it's a little bit of a stretch, I know. Okay, one There's more an here. I think you might be getting a little bit paranoid. <laughs> okay, Zorin on the gun, please. Next. I think it's an evil idea. No. Oh. You put the trap on the machine gun. <laughs> okay. Quick save. We take out these three with a single shot. And I think our trap should be enough. Hopefully. Oh, don't shoot her as well. That she knows oh, to duck. <laughs> okay. Oh, that teleported them all back here. Nope. All right, I forgot. <laughs> Dumb of me to forget that. Um. Yeah, now we just wait. Also reloads. <laughs> we have work to do. And now we just enjoy the fireworks. Actually, let's spread out a bit so we can actually see it happening. <laughs> Wait, we can interact the with the... Is that a hen house or a dog house? Yeah, we can take shelter behind it. That's what it's uh, notifying us of. Oh, all right. <clears throat> Zorin, go hide here. And yeah, now we just, like I said, enjoy the fireworks. 
Mm. Let's see, we're approaching two hours, but we will be going for three. So maybe a little break in a bit after this mission. You need a bathroom? Mm. And not, uh, not immediately. <laughs> but to better be to cut steel. stuff like that off before it becomes necessary. Yeah, <laughs> I understand you. I understand you. Okay. Uh, also, something uh, apparently I think I learned that OBS has a, a function to analyze things on your setup, and apparently there was an audio sample mismatch between the mic and OBS. Like the mic was recording too much, I presume. So hopefully this recording has a bit better, um, well, <laughs> a bit better audio of me, because Drakir has pointed it out before that for some reason I sound better on Discord, probably because it takes the full amount of that, the full amount that the mic can, uh, than I do on the recordings. Yeah, because I feel like that's it was is like normally. Uh, no, I could look at the no, sample no, size as well, like people, uh, do we, I guess we would still count as amateurs. You would expect the host to have this better sound quality than the co-host. <laughs> yeah, if, if needed, I can just up the audio sample quality on OBS and hello. Uh, okay, that was the first mine going off, I presume. I thought this one was the first. That would get yeah, hit, but no. no. no, 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 no. Yeah, okay, that got all of them there. Okay, and the, the timers at the side just basically show how long you have until okay. they go. And that was all of them. Okay. Uh, can you... Just to be absolutely certain that Let's Olga do doesn't explode herself here. Okay, we can. Anyone who Child's just puts down a mine... Anyone can pick up any mines that we have placed, to put that the simplest way. Oh, wait. There's more coming at me by the looks of it? Uh, no. It's just the exit. Oh, all right. Okay. Well, but as we bring some mines home with us, we can yep. use them on other missions, I hope. Yeah, definitely... I, definitely I should use mines to deal with patrols. Like if I brought a mine uh, to the previous mission, we would not have needed to get into a firefight <clears throat> with uh, well, the dog. Yes, you know, what? Here's the thing. Mines are loud. True. But we can still... Oh, oh, hello there, beautiful. Ooh. MG34, not 42. Okay. Wait, hold on. Did I up back this upgrade? Uh, <clears throat> I, I gave him the skill to increase his backpack. Oh. Wait, can we, can't we do that on the others? No, it's only who has those uh, who can, well, do that. Well, you called his son the pa pack mule earlier. <laughs> I guess he heard you. I'm proud to show you who, who's the proper pack mule. <laughs> okay, we have plenty of these, but always better to have spares. Let's see. Battle Warlord, hello there. How are you doing oh, today? Uh, let's see, pizza. This dude defo gets off to traps with how he won't shut up about them. <laughs> okay, that was actually the shortest mission yet, I think. Let's see, is this a bit like the Commander's franchise games? Yep, it's a bit like that. It's different in some ways, but definitely similar in a lot. Uh, uh, there we go. It's time we did something about beer, beer. Is he the potato furor that the village head shrieked about before dying? That's him. His gang burned down a village recently. The townsfolk miscounted and didn't give him enough potatoes. He felt insulted and sent in the troops. 
The survivors were left without shelter. We can't just let him go. I agree. It will leave him with a taste of impunity and things will turn really ugly. If only he'd step out of his lair at the station, I'd feed him a fistful of iron. But he doesn't show his face outside. Is it a big station? Not really. Unlike Krasnoselska, which is a major comms hub. Good. Let's drop by in tomorrow night. <laughs> okay, going straight to assassination, huh? Uh, let's see, Battle Warlords. Uh, da -da -da. Have you played Commandos? I have played some of the Commandos games. We have streamed Commandos 2. And I... Hmm. If they were to remake or remaster the first... Uh, I don't know. It's, with Commandos, it's a bit annoying because you have the original Commandos and then you have an expansion on that, or... Was it an expansion, or... Hmm. It's called... It was probably called expansions back then. DLCs... Uh, yeah, you don't... They didn't start using DLCs until... Maybe a little... Sometime after the 2000? Like 2007 or something? Hmm. I, I know that there was... I, I think it was a full-sized game, but it, they didn't call it Commandos 2. The 3D one, uh, they did call Commandos 2. And there was Commandos 3, and there was also a spin-off that was an FPS, I think, but... Um, I think my... I think that says enough just how I, <laughs> I mentioned that. Yeah. <clears throat> But yeah, if they were to remake the, re the first two games there, I, I would definitely be up for picking them up. <clears> hmm. <throat> let's see, Pizza wants to ask uh, Warlord something? Okay. And, yeah. Uh, I... Last bit on Commandos, I don't really feel like streaming Commandos 3 because it's not a terrible game, it's just that they cut back a lot on it from like with Commandos 2, we had like 10 Commandos. In Commandos 3, they cut it down to like 6 or 7. So, yeah, that feels a bit like an insult to the, <laughs> the characters up for my part. <clears throat> Let's see. Molensk has been captured by the enemy despite desperate resistance of our armies. Hitler's horde are beginning to re their rush for Moscow. Okay. Uh, Warlords. But number Strike Force version, uh, it did not like. Or, I I think your, I think your autocorrect is on. Uh, so I did not like, so did not finish. It's not the same format, so I sold it. I prefer this Stickman version, like this. Uh, <laughs> Stickman, more. The, I think you mean more this isometric <laughs> style. Yeah, there are some other games of this of this genre that I do plan to stream eventually. Uh, the Mimi Me games, which is pirates. Uh, I forget the specific name, right? But we showcased one somewhat recently. Uh, Blades of the Shogun, something like that. And another game by the same developer, but with pirates, cursed pirates at that. Oh dear. Now, let's see. A raid, an, another visit to Sidorov, uh, propaganda, let's see, 750, 600, uh, let's check, 8, 8, 8, 9, 9, and 9, okay, so we sent these three off to get some experience, uh, nothing to construct, hmm. Let's see, 750, 600, but we can only send one there, one, two, three, apply, bit overuse, <laughs> we could have sent it with one less, but oh well, and let's see, in the meantime, we could maybe upgrade some stuff. Probably should get to that at some point, at least. They're definitely storing this beauty. Oh, yeah, dear. There's, uh, keep some rocks. Actually, we can turn uh, we can turn him into our trap expert. 
Well, I think he, he is supposed to be the trap expert. Okay, hand over the ammo. Always good to have some medic uh, yeah, medical equipment. Um, swords, explosives. Uh, let's see, how many tripwires can we stack? Only two, or do we have only two? Okay. Wait, did we forget? Uh, we, someone else picked up some of them. Uh, mines. Tripwire. Bottles you can keep. Mine. And, yep. Put some bottles away. Another tripwire. Actually, just stash all of that. Keep most of that. Uh, grenade is probably best to have at least one or two as backup. Let's see. Uh, ta -ta -ta. Warlords. Uh, ta -ta. <laughs> Pizza. Since you are a battle warlord, how many battles have you won? <laughs> Easy answer would, yeah. there would be all that I have fought. And forget to mention that you only fought one battle. Okay. Um, don't really think we need any more grenades, really. Uh, we could... We could pay another visit. <laughs> knock, knock. We heard you were talking shit again. And... Yeah, foods. Okay. Yeah, like, okay. We are looking... We sure we are looking good on food now. But since we went from 25 to 30... Death can quickly drain our food supplies quickly. Yeah, if we need, if we if we won't be able to collect as much foods when winter starts. Another mission yeah. there already. Okay. Though it'd be awkward if we, if we play through this and realize. We're going to Bogachevo and, Station to kill Beermir. A station even small like this one is a well-guarded strategic object. We'll act under the cover of darkness makes us harder to spot not hide and seek again shut up you can stay home to peel the potatoes for tomorrow no way it's your turn stop it you two you'll both be peeling potatoes when we're done but first we have a job to do <laughs> oh god it's a humor but yeah it'd be awkward if we played through his own realize but then the winter never came in the game <laughs> Yeah, but still better to be prepared for it. The potato yeah. cure. <laughs> Let's see, do we have any intel on this? No, we don't. Hmm. Okay, that I wouldn't I would call that a bit of a flaw that it doesn't tell you uh if it'll if it'll lean more towards stealth or combat before you go. Since well, the previous one was very much supposed to be a more heavy combat mission, but still. Um, it does sound see. like they did say during the night where they are hard to spot. Does sound like a stealth mission. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, Redisov uh, has a level. So let's see. Now, since we have since we have a heavy weapon now, I definitely think we should train him in that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hmm. But I don't think we'll make use of it yet. Yeah, I don't think they, they, we want to bring that damn thing to this mission. Yeah, if we have like a last stand or something, then we would. For the moment, I'm actually thinking we bring Valentina. And yeah, yeah, we bring both the women. But why was I choking there a bit? Uh, yeah, let's see. I I agree with you for Torfi. He's damn good, but I don't sure we we be able to use the mines effectively for light mines allowed. Yeah, and. Uh, our other uh, gunner? Yeah, he's all guns blazing. Yeah, he's and, constantly complaining about hiding in the bushes. Yeah, and Sonic? <clears throat> uh, 
it's sad that he should not be on this mission. He's a kid. Yeah. Okay. More adoptive father-son bonding whilst they cook. And uh, you go peel some potatoes. <laughs> okay, let's see. Battle Warlord, do you have any plans in the future to play the other Commander's games which you have not played? Uh, like I said, if there would be a remake of the first two, uh, the more primitive ones, then I'd definitely be up for that. Commandos 3, I'll leave as a maybe at the moment. Because, like I said, I, it it is a downgrade from Commandos 2. But I'm definitely going to be playing more Commandos-like games in the future. Though we will have to find out when still. I don't want to go from one real-time tactics game directly to another once we're finished with this game. Because they do tend to take a while. Yeah. Hmm. I'm thinking we should maybe upgrade a weapon or two at some point, since we have a lot of materials and we don't really need to build stuff anymore. At least at the moment. But, Wait, have we built yeah. everything? Yeah, we have built everything that it says we can build. It, uh, some buildings have special requirements or become available during the story, so they may be currently locked. Okay. Currently locked. We did see that there were a bunch locked and that were unlocked as we went. So I think we might be done with construction. So next time we probably go... <clears throat> next time we go for some upgrading as well. But for now, mission time. Okay. Kill a beer mire, additional information, nighttime, enemy vision is impaired, stealth approach recommended. Multiple additional quests present. Okay. Now then, everyone's equipment. We are not giving you the, <laughs> the machine gun. You wait, are wait, good wait. with a rifle. What, 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 what did it say? Hmm? What, where? Uh, additionally, uh, not have enemy vision is paired. Stealth approach recommended. Figure that much. Multiple additional quests present. Oh. Yeah. Side quests. Let's see. The best rifle is already in Zorin's hand, so Valdir gets one of the, well, not second-hand ones, but less quality ones. Let's see, Mosin rifle. Let's actually compare these two. Let's see, Mosin, Mauser. Mauser deals more damage plainly, but it has a slightly lower fire rate. And the rest are actually the same, mostly. Yep. <laughs> Except for ammo type, they are Exactly the same, except in damage and fire rate. So that that yeah, that makes the Mauser a straight up better gun then. Okay. I think that's You'll what the gun she ammo. started with to begin with. Could be, yeah. Okay. You are our medic. And though we don't think we'll need to give you three medical bags. Um Let's see. Yeah, let's give you a bear trap for the fun of it. Um, let's also give you some bottles, just in case we need you to lure someone over. Use some Don't bottles. Um, let's swap these out for a full stack of grenades. And do we have any mines left, or did we leave them all? With uh... I, again, I don't think we want to use mines on this mission for again loud. Yeah, but I, I'm going to take at least one just in case. Uh, let's see, Warlord is popping out. See you next time, then. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the show. Be safe and heal. You, you just want to go with a bang. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. Bit of a light package, but best to travel light and come back he home heavily loaded. Yep. Mm -hmm. Everyone with the ammo, you use a different ammo type, which is good. There, there. 
Okay. And off we go. I do hope we're able to get some more characters on our side. So I would not be surprised if that will be needed for... Ooh. Speaking of... Okay, who are you then? That was a clever trick to lure him out. Are you one of us? What's that? A partisan? No. I'm a lone wolf. I love my independence. What were you doing at the station in the middle of the night? Robbing decent people. And what's the real story? I wanted to see what I could steal from the fascists. The locals are as poor as church mice. The local commander on the contrary is as fat as a pig. So you're a thief, eh? An honest thief. I respect the code and kill only fascists. Settling scores? Aye. Just before the war, the fascists sent me and my friends off to dig trenches. They got all sorts of people there. Girls, very young Komsomol members. There was one girl right there. She was always in a good mood, always laughed. I thought I could take a chance and escape, but no such luck. That's when the Junkers came in. Men, women, all blown to pieces, and that girl too. Since then, I've had a simple greeting for that scum. My knife, their ribs. So it's personal, then. We're on a mission to kill Beermir. You know, fat cheeks. Do you want to join? <laughs> You're inviting a criminal to join you? Hey, why not? The Commandant's office is over there. You just need to get across the rails. But you can't just jump the hedge and take the ditch. There's a train full of Germans at the station, and you forgot to bring an army, so you'll have to take the long way around. Fair enough. We also have to damage the comms hub in case the fascists try to call for reinforcements. If we just kill them quietly and go, they won't even think to phone their mothers. We have to I'm destroy liking the this guy already. anti-aircraft guns. They'll target our aircraft. Explosions cause a lot of noise. Okay, so this might be our first full, really just full-sized mission. And I honestly thought we were kind of done getting new characters, but no. <laughs> Do you need anything? <laughs> oh, and with Junkers, he doesn't mean Junkers. I think he meant uh, aircrafts. Or something like that. Hello. It's been a while since you've seen one of these, huh? Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh okay. Night. At night, enemies can see much worse. Lesser enemy cone vision shows area where he can see targets with no light. Bigger enemy cone shows vision area where he can see targets under any source of light. Okay. That it? That is going to be interesting because in the <clears throat> in Commando 2 we had that part where the area the line of sight was cut in two parts, the one where they would definitely see you, and the part where they would only see you if you were standing up. Now we're going to have similar, but uh, with lights. Yeah, th this one does make sense quite a lot for. Yeah, depending on how much moonlight you have yeah. or any lighting, at night it's hard to see. What are you up to, Zorin? Or wait. Sie ist eine echte Schönheit, das sage ich dir. Sie heißt nicht umsonst die schlanke Bertha. Der Lauf ist 21 Meter lang. Das Kaliber 28 cm und die Reichweite, stell dir vor, 86 km. <lacht> hey Maja, da werde ich fast neidisch. Oh nein, mein Schatz. Du bist nicht weniger schlank und charmant. <lacht> Damn, my German doesn't stretch to drunken banter. But I don't think he was talking about women. That could be vital info. Is anyone hurt? Okay. That would definitely be a, well, a big-ass target, literally and figuratively. A train cannon. We're here for a reason. 
Okay. Yeah, and there's a reason they move those on trains. Just the only way to really move those things. And yeah, as you can see here, no lights, no sights. Yeah, I did not actually mean to run that, but was okay. It moving around. It, did, it was still dangerous as heck. But it, but it was also the weakness with the only trains for... If you know yeah. they're coming, you usually... Someone talks the train or the rails. And either way, which, well, basically cripple the entire thing. Let's see, where is that light coming from? I think I saw it move. Yeah, it's moving. Uh, well, there's, the biggest, yeah, there's a searchlight uh, here. The Didn't they have a massive cannon? That also was a ta uh, one that went with tra uh, trains. Big Bertha, I believe. Wait, he called it Bertha. Oh. Yeah, that, that one was the one he called was uh, he called that Slender Bertha, but could be of a similar well danger all the same. Yeah, it might be one of the smaller models and not the monstrosity the other one was. Let's see. Is it did he even ever fire? Maybe just once or something? Could be. Let's see. Uh, 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 hold on. Okay, now that's a civilian. But he can see if we grab this guy. Hmm. He can't sneak any further that way. And these are only two entry points, except for that there. And I'm going to be taking a guess... Oh, also, there's, we can have Whistler. Let's see, much harder to hit the target enemy... Oh, it's just night time. Let's see, what are your skills? Let's see, increased bag space. Rib knife. Allows you to make a short dash to an enemy and deal fatal damage with a knife. Must have a knife to use this ability. Okay, then there's his whistle, uh, drawing enemy attention, high fence climbing. Yeah, I, I've I've called Senek our, our sneak before, but now we have, well, an actual sneak. So you are yeah. definitely getting that. Even extra pack mule. Because, hmm. again, it makes sense in his case for he steals. Definitely, yeah. Hmm. Possible drawbacks on this. Let's see, is this targeted or is it... Okay, it, it is just all around him. Having that be a bigger area would, of course, be very useful for drawing enemies away from farther, like this guy here. But if it... It would also be at a risk that uh, it might pull more than we actually want. But yeah, still... just like the reason I did not want us to use landmines. But the rib knife? Oh. Calm down. Okay. So yeah, we'll grab this guy first. We're luring him over. Oop. Just as the light passed over. Okay. Better meet sure that they can't we can't draw too many of them here just a little bit busted closed yeah, quick 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 there we go okay they won't they won't fully approach to where they hear the whistle but it'll still be good for drawing them out of formation. Hmm. You three, move. Okay, yeah, we can draw this guy out. Hopefully. Hope, I kind of hope we, we'll be able at some point in time more than just four on a mission, but... I can also see the balance reasons behind it. Yeah. Okay. Gotta check. Okay, hopefully he gets close enough that we can nab him. Let the blood run free. 
<laughs> okay, you may be a little <laughs> too enthusiastic, but better on our side than theirs. Okay. Hmm. Your line of sight is completely blocked by that. And we are completely invisible over here. Okay. Oh, for love of... I thought the train was coming to run over him. <laughs> and then uh, better split of that. Oh, right. These trains are... Uh, wagons are not moving. Shouldn't have messed with us. Okay, cool down. Hello. Oh, come on. Come on. Come. He's being blocked by the he was blocked by the door. <laughs> okay, well that's a two for one. Okay, I, I like that the game also shows you when you are in enough light to be spotted a lot easier. Okay, uh, yoink. And there's a little oh, patch of grass yeah. or bush to hide these two in. Because I get the feeling if we mess with the power, that's going to draw some people over. Not, uh, it's not guaranteed, but it is likely. Yeah, like, like I'm not surprised if that we are supposed to do that at some point, or if it's a red herring. Okay. Well, at the very least, it will work as a good lure. And they don't seem to give a crap. Okay, they do give a crap. Yeah, let me in send there. in someone to check on it. No, no drop that dumbass. Yeah, that was a little bit delayed. Yeah. Okay. Uh, really piling them up here. Okay. Looks like only one will come check. What if we turn it on and off again? Is that going to lure someone else? If they'll lure a new one each time, it would be a bit overpowered to keep doing that. So yeah, I think only one... I think at this point they're just presuming they're... Uh, <clears throat> that the electrical systems are failing or something. And... Hmm. Okay, I get the feeling that... I get the feeling once we're done with our main objectives that this mission is going to expand this way, because there is a door that we can interact with that way. Possibly. Okay. For now... Let's continue being sneaks. There's just... Oh, a whole squad over here. And um, we'd be able to take, Yeah, we'd be able to take out about half of them. Uh, not entirely, we'd be missing two. Hmm... But yeah, they would definitely get annoyed by a bunch of logs falling. Okay. I think this one is just going to keep watch over here the entire time. Does anyone... No. They do not see that one. Let's see. Zoran, you are our second best assassin. You can sneak past here, I'd say. Okay. And you actually. Did you just turn to look towards this one? Because if he was in his uh, in his night sights, then he would be able to spot us killing him. Unless, of course, we take him out before he sees the. No, he is out of sight. Okay, quick save. Knifey Spoony with no spoons. No stopping us.
Okay. <laughs> okay, this just feels empowering to be able to sneak around in their line of sight. Yeah, but without being spotted. Okay. There's one more here. Okay. This guy has no sight on him. I get the feeling that one is just not going to look around. Okay. And we wait for him to look our way, look away, then we nab. Did you notice that there for a second on the line? I think, I think the blade was actually acting as an inward object for a moment there and blocking line of sight as it flew. Uh, what? I saw something. All the happening there with the textures. That, that's a little bit weird. He's going down. How many more of you are there? Okay, a bit weird, yeah, but also. Undeniably a bit funny. No stopping us. Yeah, no, it, <laughs> thanks for holding. Yes, it kind of makes sense, but the problem is, it will make sense once the knife is close yes, enough to your face. Yeah. The uh, best I could say about that is possibly some light reflecting off of it as it flies, but not enough to actually be fully noticed. Okay, time to loot. Well, you, it's more of, if you have a so close to you, 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 that's flying at you that you can see past it, that usually means, well, 99% of the time means it's too late to dodge. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> Pile some bodies out of sight. Volley, I can keep Overwatch. We have great responsibility. Hmm. They could detect us. Actually, that's a bit further back, just in case that light gives enough sight inside here for any of those to be spotted. As long as we have enough bullets. Okay. Mm. Now everyone into the bush. A partisan in the bush is better than five fascists, fascists in, o the, in open sights. What? And yes, I know that made no sense at all. I'm just trying to be funny and failing. There, there, Captain. There, there. Okay. Let's see. Two guards there. Can we mess with that spotlight, perhaps? I'm not seeing anything. And then again, it might not be in sight or close enough to be seen. Hmm. Careful. We can probably grab that guy. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so we can escape the dogs. Uh, you lots quickly get out of the lights. Okay. How far do they go? If they go close enough here. Actually, no, probably not. Probably a bad idea to set up a mine around here. Okay, they go to about here. Okay, if we can take out enough of these, we can put down a mine here, deal with them, without hopefully alerting the entire station. Okay, but they... Actually, we can also just shoot that. Hmm... Okay, that is going to complicate things a bit. Yeah, for again. 
A mine is loud. Okay. New oh, lots. If not us. We need some scouts. We have great responsibility. Is Make sure right? you go through the shadows. What? Olga. Bell. Uh, did we actually catch your name? Yeah, Morozov. Grigory Morozov. There's Grigory Stefanovic uh, Morozov. Uh, 33, grew up in a troubled family in Mogilev. Belarusian Soviet Socialist Republic, career criminal and alcoholic with multiple convictions, lives by the criminal, co the criminal code, was serving time in a local prison when the war broke out, assigned to a defensive construction crew, escaped during a German airstrike. Okay, so basically, yeah, the Soviet slave labor units. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I want as much ooh, line of sights on that patrols and that patrols route as we can. Let's see. <clears throat> yeah, I, I'm pretty sure we can grab the one that was over. Wait, what? Uh, am I just a bit too far to see them? I think there was one still around here, or we lured one away from there. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, we, we already dealt with them. It's mostly these here that need to be dealt with, and this patrol. Hmm. Oh, hello. Another patrol. Hmm. Okay, maybe for the moment we go less for the kills and actually, well, try and s sneak around without causing too much trouble. Hmm. Okay, that's this spotlight. the train leave how long is it gonna stick around any minute now the engine driver's waiting for the signal any way you could get him that signal earlier we're in a hurry you can probably do it yourselves the semaphore controls are in the signal box near the crossing the germans are guarding it got it thanks okay so we can get a bunch of them to fuck off if we just sound a signal Oh, okay. High rank. Oh, no, thought you were to trick a German there. Nope, that's a local. Hmm. Nah. This All is right. likely in control of the searchlights. Hmm. Quiet. For a moment, everyone go to your non-firearms, please. So we don't accidentally start a firefight. Okay, uh, where would that, where would that box be then? Semaphore the controls. Hmm. Probably That's somewhere right, around here. Go. More. Go ahead. What's in the box? <laughs> ooh, ooh, well. Okay. Got lucky there. She's <laughs> out of range of the dog. <laughs> Hmm. There comes the other one. I'm scared. We have great yeah, we, we need to get rid of the dogs. Hmm. Actually, how well defended is this place? We, there, there's an officer there at the very least. But if we can thin that place out, we can uh, <laughs> plant a potato. And be done with that uh, patrol the next time they come around. As, as we saw some missions back, when enemies are running, they're likely to get out of the blast radius. But if they are just walking on a patrol, then yeah, the boom. Yeah. Okay. Okay. 
It's probably close, yeah, that is close enough for the dog to smell. But we can probably just park her out here in the middle for a bit. Because they can't see close enough in the dark. Okay, they can still see very well. Yeah, the better but eyesight than less. the humans. Uh, at least for yeah. a distance here, but... They also no, have sm the, better smell. The, the soldiers just have a lot more range as well. Uh, but yeah, we can s sit around here and be out of sight. Let's see. Ooh. Okay, we can hide behind the bushes here. What should I do? Uh, let's see. Ooh. Our thief is not going to run out into the open whilst that is going around. When, as you propose it is, we are starting with three hours and try it out. We may expand it to four. Yeah. Let's see. Hmm. Up there's our officer. Hmm. Okay, yeah, we, we can deal with this. Plant a mine. Then we should probably try to get rid of the train before we try and get rid of the train and the soldiers before we start with blowing these up. Okay. So these two patrol around. This one will turn, but not move from the looks of it. Also been a bit, so quick save. And there's another power box to mess with. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, this will be our first target because he is standing in the lights. Perfect little moment. Okay. No, but he'll turn around. And my, yeah, he would spot. He would have spotted if we had struck that, that one. Okay. Chew on that swine. Since it should. He's going down. No stopping us. Okay. No alarm. No issue. Okay. No. And that one god blissfully unaware. <laughs> Their officer, to be exact. <laughs> oh, that's just more humiliating. Uh, uh, just Star perfectly Rush. timed, he starts on his patrol. Uh, let's do a play. Uh, Hold on. Uh, Where's the boys? Boys? Uh, okay, up. Uh, uh, what did he spot there? I'm on it. No stopping us. Okay, I don't know what exactly he spotted there, or maybe he was it's actually smart disgusting. enough to notice that, boy, everyone else is fucking gone. Yeah, I think that's what it is for. You just killed off the counter and you killed him, but he was the only one searching. Yeah. So yeah, he okay. was like, all right, boys, boys, but where the heck are you hiding? Okay, they probably what lights? looking for them. Well, okay, for them that... and whatever may have taken them out. Okay, that was only the local lights, which makes sense. Hmm. Quick save, just to see. Let's see. Okay, we need to find explosives somewhere to deal with those. Okay. Get across while the light Down. is. Okay. Okay, we got glimpsed, but not spotted. Oh, even higher level officer. Hmm. 
Let's see, another power box. Let's see, I don't think there's enough. Actually, can we move around? Does anyone have line of sight on the power box? Careful. This guy is just stuck in there. Come on, there. Okay. Oh, oh, maybe. Maybe we can grab this one here. Okay, we would be able to grab him, but then we'd need to uh, eliminate him. Actually, now might be a perfect. I'm on it. I've seen it. Quickly. Level okay, now, now we'll see if officers will actually alert because of men, their men being missing. My faithful slave. We could try and circle around. That must mean that the patrol is close to Valentina. Okay. And we're in. Okay. The only adjacent danger is that patrol. Now, if he moves out over here again, we can grab him. And then the rest of these three... Yep, one, two, three, should be, able, should be doable. This guy doesn't move or turn much. These two split apart. And this one is stuck watching outwards. Nope. Okay. Yeah, they, they definitely notice when someone they interact with is gone. Okay. Hmm. A bit further back. So, yeah, we may... Hmm. On, on the, the, there are many little things with this game that I really like. Like, well, officers actually being smart enough to notice, oh, wait, where the fuck is Hans? Yeah, like, I don't mind challenging opponents as long as it's fair and makes sense. And in this case, where I feel like, all right, the commanders are smarter and all that. This means I need to take that into account. I accept. I like that challenge. That's a fair challenge. Let's see. Maybe I can nab the commander. I'm just call, I'm just going to call every officer, commander, and such. Hmm. Just for the ease of it, to not have to bother with too much rank and such. Um. Hmm. Let's see. He goes interact. Okay, he goes check up on everyone. We could try and circle around. Yes, yes, yes well. Yeah, that definitely does make sense, yeah? Hmm. Is there a pattern to that? Because if he always goes one, two, three, four, or basically whoever's closest, I presume, then if we get a bit lucky with things... Actually, we could probably get lucky right here, by like going after him, then him, him, and hopefully that one doesn't turn around in time to spot us. But I feel our luck would be a little bit short on that. Chew on that. Still, I'm going to try it. Find cover now. Nope. Oh. Thanks for holding. I'm on it. One down. Well, not exactly the order we planned, but this wasn't the plan. it works. This may have been better. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'll take it. On. He did a very smooth move by being very attentive. He was, the general was being smart. He just didn't realize how close we, we, that we were hiding in the bushes. Yeah, but actually, he saw the corpse. He saw the body and went, he was about to go check it out and alert. But we got him before he could do that. Okay, that, that was just perfect little timing. Yeah, this is... <laughs> 
And this is a case of where we countered the, uh, the smallness of that uh, officer. Now, that, that was more just luck on the timing. Uh, that too. But it was actually better than we, what we planned. Oh, yeah. What we planned had a bit more risk. Yeah, but that, but that it, was it, also it, really risky if we hadn't been fast enough. It's oh, yeah. So let me see this. What's this? Yeah. Uh, just an ammo. I think that, that uh, we could have been moved if we could we were, uh, go, uh, and we could have gotten so surprised that we us. lost it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. That's another area cleared. Uh, I think this one is far enough away that we can leave and be. But, yeah. Hmm. I'm going to guess that uh, sooner or later they're going to tell us, they're going to give a bit of a tutorial on officers because there hasn't really been much told about them. Maybe they were maybe there's more of a case that they expect you to learn through well a bit of trial and error. Let's see this. Yeah this is our biggest map so far I think. Anything maybe? around here? Wait I Some think folks. they may have had a bigger one. The village one I think. Maybe yeah. But it's, it, it is close. It is close. Okay, can't go around that way. Do you have... You do not have any of the mines on you. Oh, no, you actually have the one mine that we brought along. If we find another one, we can easily take care of the other squads. But if yeah, there is no one around don't. here, which I doubt... Here's the thing. Make sure you quick save before you're putting it down. Yeah. For this is a moment we want to make sure that. Uh, yeah, that we uh, don't end up alerting up like all the guards. Yeah. Let's see. Still not really seeing something. Oh, wait. Okay, that must be the communications that we need to mess with. Hmm. I'm curious, where is the... Where is what we can... Actually, it'll probably be in here to send the train off. Hmm. With a bit of timing, I can cr probably grab these two. Unless there is another patrol around here. Nope. Oh. Never mind. Don't let me down. No stopping us. Okay, not an officer, so that shouldn't annoy him. He'll probably just assume that his colleague went for a piss. This will come in handy. My recon experience comes in handy. Okay, then we just grab the other one as he leaves, it's hoping that the patrol. Let's see. Hmm. No, they won't get the line of sight. He's outside of the light anyways. But he won't be out of... He might not be out of... He is just out of sight of this patrol. So let's quickly... Quickly go hide him. That... That got close. That was really close there for a moment. Yeah. Let's see, would any of them have spotted him if... Actually, I think he might have been just outside of their line of sight there, but still... That was a close shave. Okay, and his pockets are full. Okay. We have one here who splits off from the rest. Let's see. Yeah, those two should be easy targets. Okay, I, I should I should really bring our sneak around. Because these yeah, these two together would be an absolute menace. Quickly. I'm on it. No stopping us. Okay. 
Okay, hide the body. And then there were three. And they are sitting on top of a, a, a stash of foods. Okay. Yeah, our sneak would be able to get in here and deal with these. Actually, how much movement is there inside here? Well, just acting as a <laughs> proximity detector for that <laughs> for that patrol. Let me try and take these two out. There doesn't seem there's windows there or a window there. Ooh. No, oh, that, oh, that attracted two of them. Okay. Quiet. Okay, that will be a bit more troublesome. Hmm. Yeah, I, I should have kept their proximity in, matter, in mind with that. Uh, in the meantime, you can come closer. Yeah, might as well grab one. Oh, this must... Okay, these... Okay, here the controls are. Oh, yeah. We we just not... We never got close enough to actually spot them, it seems. Well, I guess yeah. we just turn off the power. No, not the power. Just uh, send the train with the troops off. Get them out of our hair. Uh, let's see. Patrol it's out of sight. No, not. Okay. Not entirely sure. I, I think he managed to get off, and uh, yeah, he he was alerted already from the whistle. Other than that, he's standing in a blind spot here. Here we go. Oop. Ooh, I think he got a glimpse of us there. And then he got a glimpse of silver. Nice out for this one. <laughs> okay. I don't think it's a silver knife. We're not fighting vampires here. <laughs> is that is probably a move. Ooh. That's where a few games movies about that, ain't it? Probably. I'll take that off your pocket. Now, doggy. Okay, that that's a nice little detail. Uh, oh yeah, there's a leech. Leash, leash. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Quickly. It oh, almost, almost into another dog. Okay, and the dogs, if they spot, if the dogs find bodies, they'll alert. But it. It seems they can't actually see them because they're in the bush. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and now the dog is getting probably scolded for wasting their time. <laughs> okay. The, you could consider that a bit of a flaw. That uh, they can't find enemies, enemy corpses unless they're literally... Unless, well, even when they are literally standing on top of them. But still, well, maybe on more. higher difficulties they do, but... Yeah. I guess they could miss the due to being dark in the bush, but if they so much as stepped on the box, they would probably have noticed, hmm. even if it's dark. Speaking of dark, it seems that none of them react to this light going off. Okay, they must be, they must probably think that there's like rolling blackouts or something. Also, you have a level or a skill points. Uh, let's see, strengths, shotguns, carry. Let's go with this, since you'll probably be well carrying quite a few bodies in time. Okay. Now there are windows in this, but there are none looking out towards here. Quickly get in. 
Okay, now, quick save. Use that. And that should get a lot of soldiers to piss off. Okay, those will be true. Not so many Germans lurking in the station now. Okay. And that also opens all of this up. Let's see. Um we could try and circle around. Is anyone hurt? Let's actually pull back a little bit to check over here. Are there many... Okay, many of these are still here, including the patrol, of course, because they are part of the uh, local garrison. But I'm presuming all of those that were around here are now gone. Hopefully. Let's see. Oh, there, there's a side entrance here. Yeah, and... Oh, yeah, almost time's up, but... Uh, is it, is it is three hours on this? This better? For... I'm about two hours on this game, she's a bit almost too short to do too much on. Okay. And these two even, he, he, those two over there also took off, it seems. Nice. And mm. actually, try and what's the idea of uh, when you do one record on three hour stream that you split them in two? Six. In uh, if on the main channel I upload I upload all streams is basically just one chunk. And on the second channel, I split them into half hours. All right. Let's hope that yeah, I, I, I need to catch up on uploads again. Yeah, for I heard that uh, sometimes algorithm make see that as you trying to just re-upload the same content out of laziness and get angry with that. One out. Yep. Yeah. Okay, uh -oh. that was poorly timed. Okay, yeah. Stealth is basically going to be required here. Okay, uh -oh, let's wait. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I, I did not notice that this one turns around there. Okay. He, he dashes quite a distance on that, actually. Okay. Okay, just bring him out. And yeah, we, we need to call it in a bit, but plenty of progress on this. That is for Ooh, yeah. damn sure. Okay. Yeah, good thing. Okay. Okay, bit too early. Okay, that is a bit annoying that if you click at the main, yeah, if you click a bit too much, you get sent out. <laughs> uh, you, yeah, you can accidentally send your partisan out into, well, getting themselves killed during a, yeah, if, when leaving from a loading uh, screen, but oh uh, well. Small issues. Let's see. I very much doubt that the, he seems to walk so back and out. forth there. So we can probably nab this guy while he's there. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, with how long it takes for him to turn around, we might as we might just as well be able to grab this one with a, a stabbing and then just <laughs> walk over and deal with the other one. So if that if he doesn't leave before this one goes over there again, that's what we'll do. <clears throat> okay. Option B it is, it looks like. Also, I like that doors will just block line of sight and stuff. Bam. Okay. Try and circle around. Okay. Uh, hopefully the patrol won't see this through the window. Oh, 
careful enough. For... Realistically, they shouldn't be able to see we, uh, him on the floor there at that yeah. distance. And yeah, they don't see through that. Okay. Now. Oh, those were... Oh, nice. <laughs> Explosives, two of them. Okay. Probably so we have what we need, need to mess with those. Oh dear, oh dear. To deal with the AA, yeah. You found another magazine or such. Yeah, not enough space. What is this actually? That's the kerosene one. lamp. Okay, it's just uh, material. Okay. What's in here? Just a few. Uh, what the? Uh, what happened? Oh, I. Th they they spot. Wait, how did they spot Olga? Okay. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure she was placed. Okay, maybe the dog moved around more. Okay, that puts us back a little bit. Yep. Uh, pull back a bit there, will you? Let the there you go. I, I do like that we can. Do, I do like that we can visil, you know, visibly uh, see them turn. Yep. Uh -oh, Again trouble. with that. Yeah, I'd like that we can visibly see them turn their heads to have a good guess at where they're looking. In Commanders 2, we they did we did have it that the enemies were constantly they were basically swiveling their heads at all times, which made it hard to well. It's easier to move around these lots, simply put. When it's yeah. very uh, very clear, very uh, very obviously signed as to in what direction around. they're looking. Also, Olga, pull back a bit. Yeah, though it also looks natural that they do it. Yeah. <clears throat> hmm. Actually... Yeah, that would lure both. Uh, still both, I think. Okay. Shouldn't have messed with us. <laughs> Okay, he will just bolt straight from where he is standing. Okay, so yeah, he he will basically outspeed. Uh, he'll be, he'll outspeed whoever he's luring over. That is going to be really powerful, I presume. Yeah, and we better get ready to move someone. Yeah, I've already moved Olga somewhat, but let's move her a bit more. Also. Hmm. I wonder if we would click on the, if we would click on one of them before they've actually landed, would that also negate the noise of the body falling? Unsure. Hmm. Now let's look around again. Just loot everything. Now we have only a few left here. Ooh. Magazine. Huh? Actually, Olga, move over completely, will you? Zorin. Okay. Just making extra sure that everyone is hidden. Okay, this is a nice detail. We are in range of the dog. But since we're outside, it can't sniff us out. But we, since we're uh, inside, and they're outside. Ugh. There we go. Okay. And... Time's up. Yeah, that's the timer going, and no one is interested in fixing this light. All right, so this will this this is where we'll leave it off then. Uh, yeah, new save. Uh, still station. Okay. 
uh, yeah, that definitely feels good to do three hours of this instead of two. Oh yeah, oh. We, again, we may turn it into a four hour run. However, on the weekdays, we probably were just gonna stick with three hours and stream from seven to eleven. Uh, yeah. So, a, a bit of run, yeah. running okay. fumes. Hmm. Yeah, though, on next week, we will likely be going for longer streams anyways. Maybe four, maybe three, at least on the main uh, uh, days. Uh, because next week will be our our third stream anniversary. <laughs> oh yeah, but since the actual day is on a damn Friday, yeah. we've been pondering on just turn it into a week as a celebration. Or at least the main week. And let's see. Pizza is suggesting Moonrise as a raid. They are playing Lethal Company at the moment. Let me change over the screen right. share so the kids can see. Raid or rave? Raid. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's see. We have Dr. Misunderstood with Final Fantasy IX, Heron and I with Dice Folk, Moonrise with Little Company again, Shabbos the Moon Seal with Elden Ring, Desire Rosier with Celeste, WBPL with The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, Horatius the Dwarf is having their psychology open house, and that's about it. So, any of those? You have to <clears throat> Any of those you would suggest, or should we go say hi to Moonrise then? I'm saying let's go with Moonrise. Probably been a while. Okay, triple check that the place is muted. It is. So, copy name. And then we go to our place. And again, I, I really like this num this music number. It just it goes from the uh, not really parade music, but military bravado, and then at the end. It just goes into the guitar and the quiet as well. <clears throat> Stealth is required as since there's planes going overhead. Yeah. Okay. Oh dear. So yeah. Slash raid and paste. But before we start that, of course, thank you everyone that's watching now or later. Thank you Pizza, thank you Battle Warlord, and thank you Marco. I hope things will go well with the cats. And thank you, any thank you, any lurkers. I see noon there. Hello there. <laughs> and of course, anyone else. And as always, thank you, Kirkir. You're welcome as always, my friend. And thank you all for watching here on Twitch or YouTube. And yeah. Yeah. I hope the cat gets better, at least as good as it can get. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know where uh, our new sneak will go. There's a space here, but uh, that might be a bit tight for him. Yeah, they're sitting close together here, but maybe he'll just grab another log or something to sit on. But yeah, I'm looking forward to continuing this game. And something else we'll have to look forward to is tomorrow we have Showcase Sunday, where well, we'll be showcasing some games. We are running towards the end of our second quote-unquote season with that. And in the evening, I'm thinking about actually continuing with uh, Jedi Knight Mysteries of the Sith since we are really close to the end. That's that only this lo that single level we're in and then a boss fight level, I believe. So yeah. that's uh, when for the next uh, main quests, we can do uh, four, th three to four hours uh, of uh, Jedi Knight 2 twice and I'll just say that Jedi Knight 2 is quite an upgrade from uh, the first. Yeah, basically then it sounds like rather rewarding to play it a lot as a main quest next week. Uh, squeak? Squeak! <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, hopefully the, my audio or my voice audio was better on this. Otherwise, I'll have to look at just upping the uh, sample size of the entire stream to a higher quality. Hopefully but that should definitely work as well. Hopefully that won't mess with our bit rates or such. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll only find out next time. But for now, let's go get that raid started. Uh, yep, there we go. And yeah, thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone. And uh, watch out for undead seagulls. <laughs> and German fascists. Uh, uh, here. 
yeah, always watch out for those.